my God. Uh, I want to do a quick poll before I get started. Where's my uh, tr 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 transphobic people at? Make some noise. Transphobes, where are you at? Uh, uh. Okay, just me tonight, I guess. Just me. How's it going? Let's have some fun. It is getting worse. I recently got kicked out of the women's restroom in a Target. Yeah, I was just in there doing my thing, and an employee kicks open the door, and they're like, you're not allowed to do cocaine in here. Um, <laughs> bigots, right? I'm trans, I'm in my prime, I can do bumps wherever I want, okay? <laughs> Let me live. I do get gendered correctly now in the grocery store, it's nice. Every now and then, a little lost kid will run past me, and I'll hear them go, mama, mama. And then I turn around and go, what is it, my dear child? <laughs> and then I chase them around the store. It's a fun little game we play. Uh, they run into the bathroom. That's where I get them, OK? Uh, not doing anything weird, all right? Just making sure their hair looks nice, making sure their shirt's tucked in. Um, I'm a bit of a groomer. Heard of us? Groomers, anyone? <laughs> We're making a lot of strides right now. Uh, it's our time. We're thriving. <laughs> We're actually going to add a G to the LGBT community. We're doing really good. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm too kinky for people to even be transphobic to me. Like, if you tried to spit on me, I'd probably just, like, catch it in my mouth. Um, <laughs> that's how I find out where the kinky people are. Talk to me after the show, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> I've been transitioning for about three years now. There's been a lot of changes. I can squirt now, that's nice. I can squirt. Uh, I also sit down now when I go to the bathroom. And guys, fellas, men, let me tell you, much more relaxing way to go diarrhea, all right? I was, um, it's what we call squirting in the trans community. You'll learn about that. Uh, <laughs> A lot of people ask me like weird questions like since I've been transitioning, they'll be like, oh, when did you decide to become trans? When did you choose that? And obviously it's not something you just like sit around and decide, right? It's something that happens after you get vaccinated. Um, <laughs> anyone else into conspiracy theories? Anyone? Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if you heard this one, but Bill Clinton is a lizard person. Have you heard this? I don't mean what you think I mean, though, okay? I mean like he owned a lizard, all right? Um, her name was Hillary Clinton, Herbert. Uh, we have some fans. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, though. Uh, I quit drinking not that long ago. Thank you, yeah, a lot of people can handle alcohol. I couldn't handle it, it was ruining my life, leading me down a dark path, so I ended up switching to this new non-alcoholic beer, totally pulled me together. Uh, it's called White Claw, have you heard of this? Uh, Nom, nom, nom. These things are so good. Me and my partner, 12 a night each. All right, slamming them. So sober, feels so good. And by the way, let me be clear what I mean for those who don't understand when I say partner. Um, I am a cop. Okay? Montreal Police Department. Heard of us? Anyone? I'll arrest you for crimes. <laughs> I actually came from a really conservative family, really strict upbringing. Like, I'll never forget this. When I was a kid, my dad caught me smoking. And then for a punishment, him and my mom did this thing parents used to do in the 90s where they sat me down and made me watch them do meth for 20 years. Do you know that old? <laughs> punishment, yeah, real popular in South Texas. They love doing that. Uh... <laughs> it's weird that I come from a conservative family. Like, it doesn't make sense that I am who I am. Like, because I'm like a queer socialist person. And I don't want to be condescending, but let me explain what that means to all the like dumb, simple people in the room. Okay, that means that... <laughs> That means I believe the government has the responsibility to provide me a boyfriend, okay? Uh, <laughs> army issued, all right? I want them to have guns and money. I want to feel safe. <laughs> that side knows what I mean. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my partner's non-binary, and if you can get a non-binary partner, I highly recommend it because it just makes the dirty talk way hotter. Like, I don't know why it just sounds way more kinky and demeaning to tell someone, oh, you've been a bad, bad person. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. This is the last thing I'll say. Uh, I am bisexual. I came out as bi before I came out as trans. At this rate, I will probably be a furry in five years. And 
It's just the trajectory I'm on. But when I first came out as bisexual, I lost a lot of really close friends over it. So I just want to say this before I go. Like, if anybody you know ever comes out to you, do not respond by telling them they're confused or going through a phase. If you want to make them feel completely comfortable according to LGBT guidelines, all you have to say is, I'm gay too, let's be in a relationship together. That's it, okay? It's uh, not that hard.